Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. This footage is from the Hijack mission, which I just posted recently, and there's a reason why. After CJ gets the truck into his garage, and I had saved, Trino calls, and CJ must go running back to the ranch and enter into another mission for Torino. He's kind of becoming more like a pain in the ass, similar to Tenpenny, but at least his missions are a little more interesting. In this next mission, CJ will have to pick up some packages, and if you have not armed him up with the rocket launcher from Easter Bay Airport, I'm leaving a link to where to get that rocket launcher in the upper right corner of this video. And again, if you have not gotten that rocket launcher, it will be really hard for you to complete the mission for Torino because with the rocket launcher from Easter Bay Airport, you can lock on to the enemy and fire the rockets. This is really an important tool to succeed at the mission. This mission is called Interdiction, and I'll explain why when we get to that point. So let's get on with this mission. But before I do that, I'm going to play the call from Torino. Here, now. Don't screw around. What an asshole. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing. Cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign. Unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside. Okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. So CJ is supposed to go to El Castillo del Diablo in this dune buggy. And the easiest way to get to there is to go the route of the train tracks through this tunnel and over a bridge and up a winding road. In order to get there. And once 
the bridge is crossed, you can just go up this road. And I'm going to fast forward to the next part because the route is just basically driving through a desert rose or road. Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. As I said, the Easter Bay Airport rocket launcher you should have by now. Grab the mini bike and get your way up to the drop point via this route. You go on to a plateau. And if you just follow this route up the mountain and up the bluff and whatever, you will get there. Jesus, will you stop doing that? Hold up! Shit, pilot says he's got trouble. Two agency choppers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down! Protect the cargo at all costs. This is where the rocket launcher from the Easter Bay Airport is so much better. You can lock on to the choppers from the agency and fire. Once you've gotten them down, there's others that are coming. And you can just lock on to those choppers without shooting down the chopper you are trying to protect. I mean, this is easy compared to just using a dumb rocket launcher. You destroyed about five choppers. Now you got to get the contraband. Put on the um, parachute. Go back to your uh, bike because now the police are coming. And this is where it gets a little hairy because the cops are coming after you. And you just want to get the bike. And here is where you do some crazy stuff. You just gotta ride off the cliff or at least ride down and eventually you're just gonna ride off the mountain. So what you do is you try and get as close to the bottom as you can before you just have CJ slide down the side of the mountain. And he's gotta get to the contraband which is way far off by the airport and you gotta do some off-roading avoid the cops etc the contraband is way out by the airport which will eventually play into the storyline and I'm gonna fast forward until CJ gets to the contraband Back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. 
Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. CJ has to get the contraband to the hideout, and the wanted levels have dropped off. Uh, it's far trip back, so I'm going to fast forward to where CJ delivers the goods, or maybe something a little more interesting. CJ returns to the ghost town and drops the contraband off in a garage. Now, mission passed, $1,000 is earned, and CJ has to get back to Torino's mansion or find some place to save. Um, if you like this content and enjoy what I'm doing, Please subscribe and smash the like button, even smash the dislike button. But subscriptions are definitely appreciated. I will be doing more of these videos and continue on. I would like to remind you to stop by my website, www.barstoolentertainment.com, every Sunday. I post a free webcomic, and maybe I blog a little bit, but that is what I do, and I'm hoping to monetize things, but that doesn't matter because I'm having fun doing this. I'm Brad, proprietor, Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.